YouTube, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to show you how I hacked the look of Pottery Burns $6.99 mirror but also kept my individuality intact. It's all under 100 bucks. Before we start today's video, please go to my channel DIY already and then click on subscribe button for subscribe to my channel. Also click the bell icon for updates because I'm coming with new videos every week and you don't want to miss out, right? You can also subscribe by clicking on my logo here. So let's start. I went to my local Dollar Tree to see what they have in stock. They have like many different shapes of mirror candle holders. They are really pretty and you can you know buy any shape you want but I decided to buy the square mirror because it will go with my design as well. So I bought 16 of them. I also bought three foam boards to make the base of the mirror. I wanted to make a square one but my local store didn't have enough square mirrors so I got creative <laughs> and went to tap plastic instead to give it a bigger look. I did my math and they cut the pieces exactly the size I wanted. I glued two of them side by side and one on top of them for extra strength. Here comes the fun part. I already glued the foam board and now gluing the pieces one by one by E6000. And you can buy it from Walmart. After it all done, I left it to dry for 24 hours. The next day it was totally dry. The edge of the mirror didn't look pretty and I expected that. I had a small amount of leather ribbon at home. Uh, you can buy them from Walmart anyway. I decided to hide the edges with that. I used copper nails which is pretty but not for long term. It will come out eventually so I hot glued them after I'm done because that way it will stay there. Give it 5 minutes or so then hang them with the help of 6 pairs of 3M Velcro which you can also buy from Walmart. One thing though, be careful about the leveling, otherwise it will look really bad. Um, you can use your tool to level, I just eyeballed it anyway and that's why I made few mistakes um, and I had to fix it after <laughs> several attempts. You don't have to do that, you can just use the tool and then make it right. So this is it, I spent around 18 bucks for the mirror and foam boards uh, and 45 bucks in tap plastic. So under $100, I got the gorgeous mirror which looks like the one cost around 700 bucks at Pottery Barn. But it still has my own touch. The whole thing is really light because I used foam board and it's easier to hang. Otherwise, uh, if I would have used wooden piece instead of foam board, then I might have to think another way to hang it. Isn't it pretty? I hope you like this DIY. 
thank you so much for watching my video please give it a thumbs up if you like it and don't forget to share and subscribe to my channel and also comment below because your opinion is really important for me and i want to be your friend so yeah stay tuned because i'm coming every week with my new video see you next time bye